Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when controller is not working with the game on a Windows computer. Now the first step is for Steam user, disable or enable Steam input. Now for this, if you have the game on Steam, then make a right click on the game. I don't have the game on Steam. Uh, this is just an example. I have the game on EA app. So you can go to controller tab and then over here, you can select disable Steam input now you can launch the game and then check if that does not work you can even enable the steam input and then check if that does not work you can use default settings and follow the next step so first of all try to disable or enable and then check still not working make sure connect uh, like if you have disconnect your external devices so if you have wired keyboard connected disconnected if you have extra controller sometimes you have extra dongle or controller connected to the computer disconnected unplug hotas wheel pedals any kind of USB adapter you have, if you have connected, disconnected. Di if you have any kind of virtual controller like Vijo, etc., you can disable it uh, in the device manager or you can uninstall it and then check. Dis disconnect arcade stick, disconnect anything that act as a controller on the computer. So you can disconnect all the external devices. Disconnect and reconnect the controller. Simply disconnect and reconnect and then check if that does not work. Restart the game. Do not ignore this step. Just restart your game and then you can check. Still not working. Non Steam users add FC26 to Steam. Now for this you can go to Steam. If you don't have the game, you can install Steam uh, from the Steam website and then log in to Steam. Once you're logged in, click on add a game at the bottom left and then click on add a non Steam game and then click on browse over here go to the game installation folder so in my case the game is installed in ea games so wherever the game is installed open the game folder select the game exe file over here and then click on open and then click on add selected program once the game is added over here now you can launch the game from steam and then check if that does not work make sure make sure that you close fc26 and ea app is closed before you launch the game from steam now if you now again for non steam users if that does not work you can add ea app to steam and then launch ea app from steam and then launch fc26 now for this you can go to steam once again click on add a game add a non steam game and then over here click on browse over here and then go to c drive uh, and i think in program files then electronic arts folder ea desktop and then scroll down find ea desktop over here select it and then click on open and then click on add selected program once ea desktop is added now you can launch first of all close ea app if it is running close it and then launch ea app from steam and then once ea app is running now you can launch the fc26 next step is to ea app users go to task manager and close steam so ea app if you have the game on EA app, you can go to task manager and close all the steam services. So you can select all the steam services over here and make a right click, click on end tasks, close everything that says steam and then launch the game from EA app and then check. Next we should launch steam as an administrator and, and then launch the game. Now this is for steam users uh, or if, if you have added the game to steam you can just make a right click on the steam and then click on run as administrator so close the steam first and then run as administrator and then check still not working launch steam in big picture mode at the top right here you can see big picture mode icon see enter big picture mode icon click on it now once the steam is in big picture mode now you can Click on FC26 if you have the game on FC26, uh, sorry, on Steam, you can select FC26 and launch the game from here. Still not working. The next step is to PlayStation controller enable controller in the sound control panel. Use the wired connection, connect the cable, uh, connect the controller using the cable. So type in control panel in Windows search box, go to control panel and then go to hardware and sound and then go to sound option over here. Now over here, you have to connect your controller. So in my case right now, it's not connected. So let me connect the controller using the cable. Now, once the controller is connected here, you can see the controller connected. Now, once the controller is connected, make a right click. If this is disabled, you have to enable it. In my case, it's already enabled. Once you enable it, go to configure speaker, right click configure speaker and then select quadraphonic over here. 
and click on next make sure front left and right and surround speaker both are checked over here and then click on next click on finish and then relaunch the game and then you can check still not working now the next step is to update controller using playstation accessories or xbox accessories app if you have xbox controller open microsoft store and then in the search box you can type in xbox accessories app over here and then click on xbox accessories if not installed you can install it and then launch xbox accessories app and then you have to connect your controller so again you have to use the wired connection use the cable to connect your controller to the computer let me connect once it is connected it will detect your controller then click on these three dots over here more options and if you see any update you will see update option click on update click on continue and let the update complete once the update is complete now you can launch the game and then check still not working uh, if you have similarly if you have playstation controller in that case you can use playstation accessories app so type in playstation accessories app in google search and you can go to playstation official website click on download for windows and then you can run this exe file and then you can install playstation accessories app on your computer in my case it is already installed so you can open playstation accessories app and then you have to connect your controller Now, once the controller is connected, uh, you will see update option. If there is any update, uh, then click on update. Now, once the update is complete, now you can launch the game and then you can check. Still not working. Uh, the last step is to use the wired connection so if the wireless connection is not working you can connect your xbox or playstation controller using the usb cable to the computer and then you can launch the game and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the controller working with the game so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel